<laughs> Anthony Dillion, sophomore. Kimberly Garrett, sophomore. Julietta Space, sophomore. Justin Moravit, sophomore. Yeah, basically the process is we're cutting these glass tiles, we're using mortar to glue them down. Once we get our design put down, we're going to go over it with, with grout. And then the finished product is, you know, it's a classic style mosaic. So, it's a pretty neat process. This is a really sophisticated event that they're learning where they could carry further. Like in the Beaux-Arts the School in Paris, they teach you as part of your BFA program to be a mosaicist if you choose to be. And it's a whole long program, a Bachelor's of Fine Arts. But these people are probably going off to Tamu CC uh, in a year or so and, and after they graduate with their art degree. I like it. I want to make more stuff with it. I enjoy it. I've always wanted to try it, but I never had the time. Use some small stuff inside the big outline. He started with a warm color palette and just added highlights with the cool colors of the green. Br playing with brightness, lighter yellows, darker oranges. And once it's grouted, it'll pop even more. <laughs> And all of them have blue because it's the coastal bin color. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> That's why blue is on the border. Uh, mainly we're cutting them because it adds a little more interest and, you know, it draws your eye a little bit more to the design. Certain shapes, like the triangles for the leaves, they are a little more complementary to the shape we chose, which went with the regular rectangles for the lines. And then the triangular shapes over here just accent that design a little bit more. At some point, Don't you're going it. to have to use the thin set. Inside the, the glass studio, there's a new concrete patio thing that all of these benches and tables are going to go on. And each table has a different design. Some have lizards and snakes and birds, and then the two tables have flowers. I think they missed this one. Yeah. No, it's just freehand. Content is nature. Nature is the greatest inspirer uh, for all of them, the greatest inspiration should be. Nature is perfect. Nature can teach us anything we need to know if we pay attention to nature. It's all around us. We are nature. That's the good part of the world. I did this over the summer. We did a program with St. Mary's Charter School, and the kids came over and they learned how to do this. Each one got to do a tile, and that's over in the E building now on display. On display, so people can go check that out. <laughs> Depending on how small you cut the tiles, how detailed of the design you want, it can get really tedious. You decide to go over any edges. Mm, like yes. This. <laughs> Um, I want to keep making stuff. I enjoy this. We just need music. It'll out here. You can sing. Yeah. I don't want to sing. I'll sing along with the music. Right. Die. Right. Yeah.